All right, guys, we're gonna talk about combining sales tax and discount today. Sometimes when we start combining processes, there tends to be a lot more steps. It needs a little more organization. It can feel overwhelming. So what I wanna do today is really walk through this a little bit slower and have a video so that you can rewatch it as many times as you need. But I also want you to trust yourself, trust the steps that you know how to do, and just pay attention to organization. That's gonna help a whole lot. So we're combining sales tax and discount. Remember, sales tax is a, a price that is added to the items you're buying and discount is something that is subtracted. So let's say we have, we're going to the store and I need to buy some pencils for my students who uh, sometimes don't have pencils in class. And my total cost of buying several packs of pencils ends up being $16. So it's $16. All right, I know that doesn't look like a dollar sign, but it is. All right, and then my there's a discount because I get a teacher discount. And the discount is a 10% discount. And then the tax is going to be 6% tax. Okay, so I know how to calculate sales tax, I know how to calculate discount, but I need to do them together. And the first one we need to do is that we need to calculate the discount because we're only gonna pay tax on what we actually pay for. And we're not gonna actually pay 16 whole dollars, we're gonna pay less than that since we have a discount. So I'm gonna get ready for my discount first. I'm gonna label it disc, discount. All right, and I know I need to set up a skeleton all right, I have part over whole. The whole cost is $16. And then I know percent always goes over 100, so I'm gonna put 10 over 100. All right, now I can do cross multiply and divide. When I do that, my discount's gonna be $1.60. So if I take my $16, and I subtract, remember, with discount we subtract, that $1.60, I'm left with $14.40. All right, so that's my new price. My discounted price is $14.40. So now I'm able to do my tax. I'm gonna set up my skeleton. I'm gonna do my percent, 6% over 100. And then I'm gonna think, okay, so this is the part, this is the 6%, which we don't know yet, we're looking for that. And the whole, what is the whole amount I'm paying for these pencils? Well, it was $16, but now that I have my discount, it's $14.40, that's my new whole. Now I can calculate what the tax on that $14.40 will be. And when I type that into my calculator, I get a number that looks like this, 0.864, I know that I'm, looking at money, so I need to round. I'm gonna circle that hundredths place, look to my four, it's gonna stay the same at 0.86. So 86 cents is my tax on that 1440. So the final step, the final thing that I need to do is figure out how much I'm paying. So I have that 1440, which was the price of the pencils with the discount, and I'm adding my sales tax which was 86 cents. And my new total is going to be $15.26. So first I found my discount. I subtracted that discount from the original price to find my new price. Then I found the tax based on that new sales price and added the tax back on to find what I was paying at the end. Feel free to watch this video as many times. If you need another example of how this is done or you want me to sit and walk through um, these steps again with you in person, please always ask me. And also remember to look back at your PowerPoint because there's some good tips on there.